Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Desert Ranger Mocha Lover, in which we are currently led in our nation here by Mr. Razor. But regardless, it is time for us to choose a new focus. Basically, California recruits. Mr. Razor's near constant radio broadcasting about the dangers of the Legion and the threat it poses to the people of California has caused NCR citizens and their thousands to travel north in an attempt to join the elite fighting force, which in which we get 2,500 more manpower, which is... Pretty darn nice. Now, right now, we're not making any more divisions. Well, most because I thought we needed to save some money, but <clears throat> we're looking pretty good right now, if I do say so myself. Let's get three more going. And we have some Elite Ranger teams, some Elite Ranger teams, but we also have some Spec Out divisions, too. Go figure. Uh, we can't train anymore just because we already have too many in the field because of these guys, which we can't train because we don't have enough Special Forces cap, which sucks, but we got coordinated assault. Now, we don't have any mechanized vehicles or... Anything like that. So we gotta go with Trooper Warfare. Which should do relatively okay. I believe we're still justifying on the good old pay pop 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 pay folk, which is totally fine with me. We got 11,000 manpower in reserve, but we got a couple comments to go through. First of all, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should, or which, uh, what do we call them? Advisors, ministers that we should use? Actually, you should probably go up top. For our military staff. And even though there's support, f there's support for, uh, well, Angela Death. Ross Nakam, Jack Hildalgo, as well as Ranger Veteran Holstadt. Overall, there's there's a little bit more support at the time of this recording for Jack Hildalgo, which we can grab immediately. <clears throat> but as well as a veteran Ranger Holstadt, as someone did put or point out, uh, this is a unique person to get since we're going down the NCR the path and the focus tree. So we'll go with Ranger Veteran Holstadt and Jack Hildalgo, even though I kind of do like, I would like to get Ross Nakam and Angela Death, because, you know, as someone did say, attack and defense is always pretty good, but let's go ahead and grab Jack Hildalgo, and hopefully raise our stability, because that hurts our stability by choosing him, so that's not real bueno, but that's alright, that's definitely alright. As you can tell, we're still trying to invade other places, because if we're not invading other places, what's the point of playing Hoi 4, right? Or any Paradox game, for that matter. If you can't take out and conquer other people, is it really a Paradox game? It hasn't really been a paradox game where you can't take over other people. I mean, maybe it was an Empire of Sin or something, but even then, that game, I don't know I don't know much about that one, or whatever it is. But Ranger Unification Treaty. After much political debate, the Ranger Unification Treaty has some has come into being. Acting as the newest element of the NCR's military, the Desert Rangers are charged with the defense of Nevada and the protection of the NCR as a whole, which would be very good. Another comment from yesterday's video uh, asked if I would try out the modern-day mod. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. I would have to definitely look into it because I know the mechanics of it are different than what I remember. So I'd really have to take a look at that mod and spend some serious time with it. Even though at the time of this recording, I'm trying to go through a bunch of different mods of that, you know, tried and true, like Red Flood, Red uh, Red World. Uh, of course, we're doing Old World Blues, the T TNO. I haven't even tried the Thousand Week Reich yet in a while at the time of this recording. Uh, and other mods too, even though I'd like to get back to Victoria 2 again sometime as well. Or have some construction, that'll be good. And maybe we should focus a little bit more on agriculture after this, too. And let's see. Oh, and I did, or someone did post in the comments yesterday. If you want to try out enforcers as an actual unit to use, maybe you should try out using them as a tribal nation because they might get buffs due to the generic focus tree in overall blues. I'm not opposed to that. Maybe we'll try that. I don't know which tribal nation to play as. Now, I know a couple nations I still need to play as includes bone dancers for their center focus tree path. Like, I've done the left path and kind of did okay, kind of did not great. I did the right path. I still need to go down the cent kind of shorter center path, the Skeleton King. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go down that path whenever we do that. Plus 15% attack is no joke. I still have yet to play as the 80s. I still get to play as the... Oh. What happened to Lanius? Hold on. What the... This is the first campaign I've ever seen Lanius actually lose to the Blue Rose Society. Did they... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't. I want to make sure before we. How? How did they do that? I've never seen this happen before. How, have you guys ever seen this in your campaigns? Have you ever seen Lanius actually lose to the Blue Rose Society? I have never seen that before. They're led by the Man in Black. Holy cow! What happened? I think I left this on historical as well, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I left this on historical. Just so that we could easily join the NCR, but I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I've never seen... Please let me know if you've ever seen that happen before, too. 
because I I didn't I didn't mess with them. I didn't do anything with them. I'm just minding my own business here in Nevada, trying to take out other people. I have never seen that happen before. Holy cow! And actually, no, let me double check. So we have Vault City, Crowshaven would be good to get, or went over. Heaven's Gate, Ranger Citadel, New Reno. Uh, the closest one is either Arroyo or Crowshaven, so I guess we'll keep pushing up north. Because uh, we have to. And it takes so long to get that stuff done. Oh my goodness. Alright, up next we're going to grab 2277. Frag grenades, doggos. I love the doggos. You gotta get the doggos. And then maybe some infrastructure. Improvement. Yeah, agriculture. Not infrastructure. Well, yeah, maybe some infrastructure stuff. It helps to give you a little bonus to infrastructure, but it's more like agricultural stuff, so... Overall, not too bad. Don't really have to focus on this too much. We got about eh, look at that manpower. It's pretty nice. 52, 63 guys. A few hundred guys have been you know tossed away. Uh, just walk into Carlin. Uh, they don't really mind if we just walk in there. So, and after that, let's go do some NCR funding. Following their acceptance into the NCR, the Desert Rangers have gained a massive little boost to. My apologies for this. A massive boost, uh, or in funding which I thought so, as they've earned a sizable chunk of the NCR's military budget for this year. This, coupled with Mr. Razor's demands for increased military funding, have brought prosperity to the people of Nevada. We'll get 10% more construction speed. Wow, three more civilian factories, it's three more civilian factories, and more caps. Demand tribute. Done. Oh, the NCR Rangers joined the NCR, did you know that? Hmm. Um, we'll be, we're close enough that I'm not too worried about this. Oh, the, oh. Okay, they're down there. Well, you know, if the NCR goes to war with the Legion, It'll be interesting to see and watch. Because I'm not going to help them out. <laughs> I'm not going to help out NCR. Why would I do that? What a waste of time. And go ahead and train if we need to, too. So, so next up, the goal is to core Carson City. Let's go take some more political power, which I maybe should not have spent earlier. And the declared war on the veil. Banditos. Battle to Hoover Dan. The fate of the Mojave lies in the balance. This is nuts. So I guess technically Blue Rose Society hasn't lost yet. They do have a lot of resistance, too. So, But this is nuts over there. Uh, do I want to go to war? I don't really want to hurt my stability, so I'm kind of okay, guys. Uh, going scavenge for stuff. How are we doing? Not too bad. 33 caps is still pretty good. 175. Nah. I don't feel like going to war. Not not with those guys. <clears throat> At the very least, we got some NCR funding. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Hmm. I still, Who else do I need to play as, as Mexican? Do I have Atsalan, probably? Uh, that's fine. See, I already lost a bunch of stability there. I don't want to lose any more. Honduras, it's not bad, um, but they don't, they don't have unique focus trees at the time it's recording. I'll be honest, like I'm running out of countries to play that have unique focus trees until I start replaying countries with different paths and such. Uh, I still need to play as Broken Coast. Hmm, I played New as New Victoria before. Uh, actually, the White Legs, is it? They only usually have one set path, don't they? Yeah, they kind of do. You can kind of go down all this way. There's really not a huge point to play them again. I played them when, the, when they first got a unique focus tree. So, yeah, it's not too unique. And standardized tools, why not? Let's finally grab some agricultural items. How about that? Uh, Falls ill, eh? Well, so be it. All right, and after that, Ranger Cooperation, or ra begin Ranger Reorganization. Well, I could probably do this for 100 more political power. I like the PP. The Desert Rangers must constantly reorganize and adapt to the changing wasteland around them. We must look internally to, to secure... Our future. And there goes a grabber territory. Actually, maybe we should play as the 80s sometime. Let me know. After this campaign, should I play the 80s? Or maybe I should I play as New Vegas? Now, with New Vegas, I'd probably be doing a very specific path with the Kings, but maybe I'll let you guys decide that for right now. 80s? Or King Vegas? King Vegas sounds kind of weird. Prepare the city. Because I, I definitely need to go down this path. So. Old Authority, the Joker, I guess I've done. That's what... Yeah, Chairman the Benny, so. The Benny, Benny, yeah. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and choose. Uh, begin Ranger Reorganization. Sounds pretty good. How much longer do we have against these guys? That's a bit too long for my taste, personally. Well, everyone, I have just gone ahead and finished a point ahead trader, when in many ways we're a city city in our own right. Much of the Nevada trade network passes through our lands, and our lucrative agreements with the NCR and other entities make us wealthy. In which we got two more arms workshops and two more casts, but let's go and grab community outreach, so this way we can build our civilian factories just slightly faster. Building the economy is about more than trade. It's about facilitating the ability to continue trade. Usually this amounts to offering caps and supplies to those looking to make their stake in the wasteland, and we finished off some more research, which is always a good thing to do, right? Uh, let's grab some plant cultivation, even though... Actually, you no, know, vacuum tubes. I think it's time for vacuum tubes. And we're almost ready to go to war with the Cyclops tribes. And I've also, off-screen, decided to core Carson City, so... 
some more scrap, some more aluminum, and slightly more population, which does help out. We already only have 56 factories, but it's that part of the campaign again. Do you think this is a good intelligence agency name? Sneaky Bees? Sneaky Bees. Do you think you could come up with a better name? Because Sneaky Bees, they're all right. I think it's something more akin or tuned to... Oh, maybe I'll do that one. Uh, something with our special forces, joining the NCR, you know, the Spies of the Bear. Maybe something like that. Let me know in the comments below if you can come up with a better name than Sneaky Bees. But, contact lost. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not very good now, is it? Let's go ahead and go down here. Let's get out to the people's... Uh, Sure, why not? Oh, and we gotta wait for Rest and Rescue Team. Naval Air Station Fallon. How many caps do we have? Almost 600. Okay, you know, we might as well, right? We're gonna remove, get more manpower back, and get some stuff, which is fine. Whatever. Doesn't really matter to me. And let's see. Planet Cultivation? Why not? Alright, let's have a little bit of fun here. Uh, I can't wait to have a little bit of fun, and... Ooh, final expedition, thank goodness. We Oh, you know, that's kind of weird. Ever we lose, the you know, a team, we always, always, 100% of the time, find them, and they come back. It's always weird that... Oh, we can always find them. It's very odd to me. I don't know. I always find that very odd. Now, these guys aren't super strong. We've got, we got Battlefield Hierarchy, which is nice. Let's grab some Elite Breakthrough Tactics, which will also be very good. And, yeah, it's done. Um, the Blue Rose Society has done a very good job, and... Literally defeated Lanius. Like I don't, I, I, I don't know what to say about this. I have literally never seen this happen before. Like I said earlier, but this is just absolutely nuts. So, yeah, go figure. And I could spend more political power to get some stuff around here. Uh, infrastructure, it's okay. Inf uh, meh. Fuel boy, really not interesting stuff. I'll be honest, not super interesting. Dedicated scribes. Oh, are they capitulating yet? Nope, not yet. This stuff is okay. I th I'm just going to save my political power then. Oh, we do want to get uh, this guy too. Uh, I'm going to wait though. I want to core more stuff. I want to core Vault City. I definitely want to call core Vault City. So Nice. How many losses have we had? 128, 130, about 150 versus about 1,000 by the time we're down here. So not too bad. We really need to core more states. Holy cow. I have thrown on a few more planes though down here, which are, as you can tell, exercising. And each group, each army has at least 50 planes, which is pretty darn nice. And maybe one more focus before we uh, go to war with the Kamalt Station. After this one. Now, we need all five of these. Holy cow, that's a, that's a lot. Uh, the Great War. Bunkers. New Threat. Ooh, I kind of like that. Long March North. I don't kind of mind that, but we got a... Any enemy country is a super mutant nation. Return to Arizona. I definitely want to do. Operation Jericho looks like a lot of fun, but only for 100 days? What is that about? No, no, no. And see our honors, that's not bad. So let's go ahead and do... Eh, we'll grab this one just because we can. I point ahead, Quartermaster. Guns, guns, more guns. Quartermaster is in charge of making sure that everyone has a weapon they'll need for a given job and enough bullets to use it until the job is finished. And additionally, I'm also going to go ahead and read the Ranger Armory. The Ranger Armory is one of the f best of its kind. We've got a stockpile of weapons and firearms that have been sitting around collecting dust for over 50 years now. And it is the duty of the Quartermaster to catalog and refurbish as many of these weapons as humanly as possible. Well, it's about that time for us to take out a little station here and uh, enjoy ourselves, I would say. And it's and we actually literally just finished up the Ranger Armory. Next up, we shall do... stuff. non core manpower is not a bad idea. Point Head Recruiter. It takes a special kind of person to talk a person into giving up everything they've, they have to fight for the better of others. Charisma is important, but so is the ability to channel all that anger someone might have at the world and work it until it is ablaze. Oh, look at that war sport. Not very good now, is it? But that's alright. I lost five guys versus 111. I've increased our division or rangers, so now they have some fire teams, chem companies, anti-tank materials, as well as raid some of our special forces divisions. Actually, this template, so that's actually pretty good for us. It's not perfect, and we're starting to run out of money here. You know, quarterly profits aren't too high, but defenses are online. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. But not too much there for us to uh, talk, really talk about. In addition, we should probably go ahead and well, we do need these guys, Crow's Haven. I don't think the Warren is a trade node, right? It's just Crow's Haven, which I would really like to get. So, I mean, with these guys, uh, maybe we could have a good old time with them. That's only 90 days, too. That's pretty good. Ranger Citadel, don't mind if we do. You know, if we're trying to be relatively democratic and joining the NCR, I'm going to war with a lot of people. I'm going to war with a bunch of people. Wow. Got off about 1,000, 1,200 versus 40. Well, that's not a bad casualty ratio, I would say. Not too bad. Got some primitive radio. Let's grab some simple circuitry next. 
which would be very nice. And we definitely need some more infantry armor, but it's looking okay. Oh man, look at those portable radios. Oh my goodness. Came on station. Thank you for playing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How is... How are these guys in? Turning off the tea kettle. We don't really need control of tea kettle, do we? Not given the money on the table. Uh, what is this? Well, where would we recruit from? Oh, they want... The Hell, they want my territory, huh? Uh, no, I'm keeping it, son. What's wrong with you? Yeah, do you, you don't have cords on this, so there's no point in even giving this to you. Now, I don't think they'll kick us out of the faction, but if they did... That wouldn't be very good for us now, would it? They have about 2,000 manpower. They have a lot of resistance. I mean, we've got a lot of resistance, too. Don't get me wrong. That's all right. And I am using our spies to help put down some resistance here, too. So, actually, I'll move you up. There you go. Uh, backyard workshops are nice. Let's grab some of this, too. Re refined tools. Very nice, very nice. And I can only get 1.08 every day. It's not good. Is there any way for me to... Oh, money's, oh, money's a little higher. I like that. I don't think there's any sort of way for me to... Raise my stability, which really sucks. Let's grab some of this too, because that's always usually worth doing. Yeah, there's not too many other ways for us to get more stability right now, which really is just not, which is just, just garbage. But after we point a head recruiter, let's do a little bit of ra uh, ranger propaganda. Not everyone knows about the rangers, unfortunately. Yet we find that more people learn of us, the more people are willing to join us, and you know what? Probably support our cause. Well, we've just completed ranger propaganda. I think it's time to appoint a head physician. The head physician is an estimated role within the Rangers, and one that has been uh, been empty for several years now, following the unfortunate passing of the last individual to hold the title. Now, we do have the war goal ready for the Marrow Drinkers next, but they're taking their sweet booty time trying to take out these folks over here, which is a little disappointing. So, let's go ahead and grab some forward fire bases next, which I think will be quite delightful for us. Yeah, it's kind of really disappointing that they have not yet won. I'm also justifying now on... The good folks down here in the Antelope tribe, so that should be hopefully pretty good for us. I really wish we could get more more political power. Big sadness, man. Big sadness. And we need to go to war by September 23rd. So we got some time. Infantry arms looking pretty good. September 23rd, 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 23rd. And I'm still trying to build up more roads. I'm always building up roads. Mar Marlux and the Apostles. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, maybe we should start building some more military factories then. Mm, there you go. And uh, there you go. There you go. Now, let's come over here. And I'll get some more suppression bonus. Why not? We love suppression, right? We love suppression. Oh, they cut these guys off. Come on. You know, just because we go to war... Actually, you know what? We can just go to war now. And then let watch these guys kill each other off. And enjoy the time together. Because look at that manpower. Not bad. So, in the scrap heap... They offer to buy the, our protection of Tree Kettle, although we have some concerns. At the end of the day, the Rangers are not a government, but merely the protectors of the wasteland. What should we do? We don't need this? They want Scrappy? Why? Why would we trust the NCR? <laughs> yeah, why would we trust the NCR? But why would we do that? Ah, thank goodness. They did it. Yeah, we less than a week before we have to get in good war with these guys, which is good and fine and dandy. Spread ourselves out a little bit better, and have a good old time fighting the old male drinkers. Drink, drink, drink. And you know what? I'll let these people deal with the resistance. Oh! Marlock Trap's war goes against them, huh? Are we all the way over there yet? No, we're not. That's fine. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just kind of sit here. Because even though it hurts our stability, I don't feel like spending my manpower for that resistance, so. No, I'm not gonna call anyone else in. Oh, these guys are dying too. Nice. Oh, Marlock's. They only have one path too, which kind of sucks, but that's alright. How much money do we have? 260 some? 18. Eh, it's alright. Not bad. Alright, so they're mostly on the line now. Let's do this. No, no. Here we go. And hopefully we do okay. Good lord, we need so many portable radios. Machine assisted decryption. Keep doing this. We're trying to do the 80s because we'll probably take them out eventually, so. Slowly and slowly. Piece, piece by piece. We will take out these enemies, so. There you go. Not bad. Up one head physician, and then we shall have a ranger at medical training. While the medical experts of the rangers isn't on par with that of, let's say, Vault City or other established city states, we must learn to make do with what we have. A declare one new Hammond. I have a good feeling they're going to go to war with this eventually, too, which is not good for us. Lost 37 versus 100 some. How are our planes doing? Well, they're putting in a slight amount of work. Not a lot. Oh, we might need some logistic companies, too. That might be the last uh, support company we do grab. 
Is there really no other way I can raise my... That really sucks. That really, really sucks. I can't raise my conscription level. Or not conscription level. I bet you will be able to do that, but... I can't remember what I was saying. Logistics. My brain just, like, turned off right there. Wow. Just mentally went bye-bye. Alright, we should be able to win here, too. Albeit, not with that much fervor, but hey, whatever. We just need more radio radios. And by a bunch more, we need a, a huge amount more. I'd like to do a general attack, but I don't think we're up for the challenge yet. Uh, I guess we probably did do this, too. There you go. That should be more than enough. And are we out of riot gear? Yeah, we're always out of riot gear, though. Hmm. Song from the front. If you'd like to read about this, go over ahead. Uh, I kind of want to get more political power, but let's get some more war support first. Why not? Machine assisted encryption. Very good. No, guys, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We're slowly trying to win here. Hopefully, we can win. Winning's kind of nice sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might just wait here and just try to make more portable radios. Yeah, I don't know. Portable radios is okay. I kind of wish they would like force you to use it earlier on. So this way you can start making some as soon as you can. Just because right now, it's like, oh, you just discovered radios. Now you got a deficit of 10,000 pieces of radio. Great. You know, real great. Well, at least with us taking this long, we don't have to deal with this part. You know, resistance, compliance, that garbage. Ugh. I can't even remember the old resistance system. I think it was so, like, for just for like, general Holy Four stuff, I think it was not looked on as something very interesting to use. If I remember correctly. Just because I never remembered if I ever used that or not. I think there's more air bases around here, too. Maybe better to planes as well. Yeah, that stuff is okay. Uh, I'm going to give our guys a little bit more time. We definitely need some more mm, money. Use more money. Less supply consumption. Well, actually, actually, actually. Which this guy's already giving us money 20% already, so. Hmm. But a point ahead mechanic. A good a grease monkey can be hard to come by, but that's why we've gotten lucky lately. An outcast from the 80s tribes come south and offered their services to us. Maybe they want payback against a former gang, but maybe they just want to help, but either way, it's a godsend. Anything else? Nope. What is the. What's, 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 what's the problem here? Like, why is supply so bad? Resistance, control of in edge incoming, previous bottleneck, and Elko. Bly. Bly. Really? This is a bottleneck? Huh. That is very odd. Elko, where's Elko then? There it is. Yeah, let's build it up. And it might help if we actually core more stuff, maybe? So. Oh, the Legion joined the Legion. Did you know that? The Legion actually wants to help out the Legion. Go figure. Yeah, logistics companies would be nice still, regardless. Uh, anything else here? Not really. Yeah, the Desert Rangers... Oh, God, we just made this, too. Oh, man, we're gonna need some of that as well. Oh, no, 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 no. I should not research that. Oh, well. Grab some of this. Might as well. Portable radios, not bad. Let's grab some of this. Encryption are nice. It's quite nice. And I want to core more stuff. I definitely want to core more stuff. Let's see. What do we have down here? Like I said, I do want to core Vault City... Uh... What are we, 116? We need 154 for this one. It's less than 10,000. You might get another factory. Uh, we'll maybe do Gold Conda first, because you do get three civilian factories. You know, there's no resources here, which really sucks, but this will just leapfrog right into Vault City, which will cost 300, which is, oh my goodness, that's so much. There we go. That looks quite a bit nicer. All right, so we got this coming along, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, so we can actually start doing a little bit of damage here then. Oh, and you guys, oh, see, this is a good thing to have allies. Ah, they must have discovered the same land tech as well. Very nice. Uh, if you want to help out, that's totally okay with me. Ah, uh, minus 8,000. Much better than minus 11,000. Oh, they declare one of the male drinkers as well. Well, seems like we might go to war those guys as well soon enough. Let's grab some of this. And support companies. 
I don't think we have enough for this. Ooh, actually, I might take off... I'm not going to take off anything here. Fire bases are actually pretty good to use. I might take off... Fire teams? No, that's part of our land auction. I might take off... Eh, camp companies I don't want to take off either. Maybe anti-tank? That would be really bad. This is super sad. The guys can't even win here. Wow, that's really, really sad. I'll be honest, man. Uh, these guys will hopefully do pretty darn well. Hmm. What do I want to take off then? I don't want to take off cannon companies. Demo teams? I might actually take off demo teams because they're okay. Hmm. I wish you could have more support companies. Oh, I need logistics just because supply is just so god awful here, right? So. Maybe we won't use it then. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Wow, you guys are pathetic. You can go to war with Modok already. Wow. You know, just in case, I'll reach fire on them anyways. Oh my god, why? Yeah, the Desert Rangers absolutely need a, a rework. Oof, and I'm sure they're they're getting one, but oh my goodness, a depot. Our newest head mechanic dreams of machines bigger and better than simple cars or trucks. He dreams of putting some of the true war machines of the old world back together in quick order and dominating all who stand before us with them. Yeah, I know I could call my allies, but I'm not going to do that. Nope. Nope, we're going to need more money first. This is so sad. This is incredibly sad. There you go. That'd be nice. Have they broken over? No, they're actually attacking. Okay. Oh, wow. They're actually doing pretty well against those guys. Uh, how are we? 6,100? Not bad. Still building here, which is good. Elko's looking a wee bit better. And they're still attacking us. Somewhat. Two divisions, two full strength divisions, I should say. I don't want the NCR in this battle, in this war. I don't want them to get involved with our... <clears throat> not conquests, but uh, little uh, areas that we work in. Yeah, we'll call it that, that. Areas that we work in. Definitely want to attack here, though. Yeah, actually, how's the plane situation? We still haven't, we still can't develop any more planes. I think that's a missed opportunity, but that's just me, maybe. Complicated circuitry? Why not? Guerrilla tactics? Very nice. Laser weaponry? I think I get a, get a brush gun. Oh, let's get some pioneer kits, too. Nice. Mm-hmm. Three, hey? 5,700 out, eh? Support companies are out as well. Oof. Oh, there's that. Goodbye, soldiers. I'm glad I didn't call you in then. Oh, God, no. They canceled the Lunleys. Whatever, what'll I do? Yeah, there's no good place for us to really attack. They're doing pretty darn well against the Marlock tribes, which I'm a little surprised at. Uh, I guess technically you guys can do probably do well this direction. Go ahead and help them out a little bit more. And you help them out as well. Uh, we're doing alright. Well, maybe not for playing stuff. Yeah, if we try general attack, it's probably not going to go very well for us now, will it? Mm, not bad. Not great. But not bad. Just in case. Alright, 93, 96. And they have been defeated. How many have we lost? 400 versus... Yeah. Couch cheese. Not very good for us. They have four to 5,000 extra manpower still available. Wow. Wow. Depot. And then we'll finish Rio... Uh, Ranger reorganization. The Desert Rangers are stronger than we've ever been. We stand tall in the name of the Wasteland on behalf of its people against all who do harm. Let our time of peace be long and our time of war be swift. Bunkers. Oh, we have to be at war with them as well, huh? Seems kind of a waste, to be honest. Logistics too? Well, we might not even use you in the end. Maybe it's all been for naught. Uh, in the meantime, anti-tank. Let's grab some more company since we're already using them we might as well keep using them right well you know we could try it why not we have enough manpower not enough radios but how are we doing minus four thousand could be a lot worse and we're done with the land auction which is awesome let's grab some of this which is very very good and make sure that you guys are all spec ops divisions thank you finally all right so you guys do you have any recon on you all uh, point nine. Actually, how do you get point nine? 
Wait, what? Oh, it's supposed to be one. Because of what? Wait, what gave us recon? Is it chems? No? Oh, the, the each get point one. Okay, okay. Huh. There's the rangers. Alright, I wasn't... Hmm, okay. Well, they each get point one. I don't mind maybe doing awareness if you get up to two. <laughs> Probably not really worth it, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. Uh, just, just go straight through them. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Could be a lot worse, actually. And they're slowly getting pushed back out, so... Uh, what... Ooh, we'll probably end up at War of the Mirelurks as well, then. Which is totally fine, even though... Ooh, we might end up at War of the Washington Brotherhood, then. Ooh. That would not really be ideal, in my mind. Yeah, I don't think I really want to go to war with those folks. Oh, and... Ooh, the Saffers are... The A's are done. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's not go crazy yet. Let's come over here, and let's do some of this, and then do some of that, because we can't. Uh, do we have enough planning yet? No. But now we do. Hopefully it's enough. Oh, they're still trying to fight the Apostles. Oh, that's why. They were losing earlier. That makes a lot more sense then. Help them out, help them out. Does anyone have upgrades? 3, 5, 2, 2. This world's gone a lot longer than I thought it would. All I wanted was another trade node. <sighs> See if you can go that way. Very good. Now kill them. Nice. Not bad. And Temple of the Gorgons would be very nice to get too. Even though this will give us more resistance to deal with. That's totally okay. The capture of Lost Hills Bunker. Oh, there goes the Alamo chapter. And there goes the Western Brotherhood. Bye bye, Western Brotherhood. Have a good day. Did no, did no one want to capture it? They already killed the people inside there. What the heck? Uh, we need to kill these guys off too. Do we. Guys, guys, it's a simple solution. If you don't want enemies, just kill them. Hmm. Eighty-three. Ah, we finished ranger reorganization already. Wow. Well, let's do ranger cooperation. We must look work closely with the rangers of the NCR for to triumph over the trials ahead. They're not like us. Uh, they're not unlike us. They're a bit more militant when it comes down to core ideals. It, they shall be steadfast allies in the days to come. Well, you'd hope so. We got 348 caps. We got 12 every month. Not bad. Not great. Civilian factories? Yes, please. And some more military factories as well, because those are always welcome here. Guns, guns, guns. And at least we didn't... Ah, they already got a lot of uh, compliance here, which is, I think is just great. Oh, Nathan Raz, a cunning desert fox, would probably be quite ideal, especially since we'll use that for later. And Siege Hidden Valley is not bad. So the main goal for me... Actually, the next episode might be the final one in this campaign. Who knows? I don't. Maybe, but probably not. Is for us to get as much Nevada together. You know, that's always nice. Nevada is a nice place to be sometimes, depending on where you're at in Nevada. Uh, other than that, yeah, have a good time. Let's see what else we have. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Let's do this one. Crop rotation. Economic precision is great news. We got Crow's Haven. Let's grab some more armor for our guys. Maybe fight the Legion, you know. I definitely want Vegas under us, so. And we'll take out the Marlark Stars as well. Mm, if you'd like to, you can kill them. There's no law saying you can't kill your enemies in the wasteland. Well, depending where you're at. Alright, moving straight on in, having a good old time. Kill them off, please. Commander training, watch out for speeds. Old world radar system. So they, I can't imagine them lasting that much longer. We've lost 1,100. Wow, that's quite a few. We've got off 13,000 of them, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, guys, you're going to put them out of their misery, right? And I definitely want to get Vault City next. Actually, does Antelope Tribes have... I don't know, Reno has no cores on them, so... Alright then. Doggos? Why not? We love the doggos. Oh, for the love of God, please take these guys out faster than this. We've had to deal with most of them. They've lost about a thousand, too. And, oh. Ah, yes, finally. I love having okay-ish allies. 
Not bad. Just a little bit more, and then we'll be there. And we'll have them done, and then these guys will probably want to come kill us. Which is actually, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Because then you'll call an NCR. Range of cooperation is very nice. Oh. Well, we can't do Bunker Blues, which kind of sucks. Um, I might just auto-bypass this. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. I might just auto-bypass because we can. Operation Jericho will do together. We're going to go to War of the Legion. Super Mutants. I don't know if we can even do this too either. There's no Super Mutants up here since the Super the Troll Warren is dead. So maybe I'll do this as well. Uh, let's make sure we give a fair standing to you guys. There you go. Hyper... Hyperborea. Hyperborea. So when are we creating Hyperborea? It's going to be really ugly. I might just do this off screen as well. Just giving me this. Just because there's no Super Mutants around here. And then we'll read this stuff. And of course NCR Honors. So, it should be very close for us to, to for time, in terms of taking out an elf tribe. Should be, right? Should be. If that's the case, uh, let's take a look. Oh, we got literally four days. So, let's see if we can do this. Uh, no, actually. Here, new. I don't want everyone down there like that. Here we go. Whee! Bingo! Oh, look, do you have an upgrade, actually? Oh, you might actually have an upgrade. He's a savage leader, which is nice. Uh, go with more attack. I always like attacking more and more and more. You guys, mysterious stranger, bloody mess, awareness, you don't have any of that. Ah, sniper. And you all. There we go. Do the Legion just in case, because odds are we're going to end up fighting him anyways. So, 355. Five. Oh, what else do we have down here? 26 every month. I think we're pretty good so far. I give him up. 10 seconds and we'll do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, Uno. Uh, I think that's good enough. I have a very unique way of counting, as you can tell. Very unique. And we're missing a bunch of yeah, infantry. Actually, that's, that's quite a bit less infantry armor than I thought we needed. And we're doing okay on uh, radar now. Or radios. Radar? Radios? No, whatever. I can lower this by five, probably. Then there we go. I'm surprised these guys haven't wanted to come kill us yet. Oh, but they will. Oh, they will. Clam jumpers. After this, Shoshone Nation. You know, just in case, it might be best to just do these guys, just because they're, they'll probably just go to war with us anyways, but if I don't want to have a potential enemy on my northwestern front at all times until we take them out, so it's probably for the best to do it like this. They've lost 700, 800 guys versus 70. Completely cut these guys off. I love it. Just demolish them. Sorry, guys. You're not going to get anybody down here. And you know what? That's okay with me. Well, everyone, it's time to smash a few eggs and go straight into the Marluk tribe. And, of course, now we can do a focus because we are at war. Uh, they're up to 31 divisions. I've already gone to war with them. Uh, I basically just did off screen just because, well, I didn't want the war goals to expire. They're about a thousand, maybe about like 1,500 maybe crabs, crustaceans. Regardless, let's, see, let's take a look. Uh, that's not bad, not bad. Got a, quite a few guns for being a bunch of marlurks, but hey, they little about Mama mm, Lulu. And actually, I wanted to try this, but it looks like we're doing relatively okay so far, at least in the southern front. Actually, in the northern front, we should probably be able to do pretty darn well. Not bad, I would do say so myself. Yeah, we're actually doing a lot better than I thought we would against these guys. Not gonna lie. I thought we would be doing a little bit worse. Obviously, I'm not trying to take over the river, which would really suck, but that's alright. Losses thus far. Oh, and actually, what focus do we have here? I have I did corner another piece of territory, by the way, but... Oh, I, I did also automatically do this one just because they're already dead. We must as well just get it done with. And then new threat as well since Mariposa or Super the Troll Warner are dead anyways. So let's go ahead and do the long march north. It's not enough to beat the foes in the field of battle. We must chase these mutants all the way home. We must burn down their warrants and smoke them out of their holes. <sighs> Smoking people's holes is kind of crazy. We must remind them why it is that they failed to take the wasteland all those years ago. The man, of, the age of man is not yet done. And let's see, what, what place did I core actually? Uh, I think it court was it this one? Court was it the court? It might have been the courtyard because they had quite a few factories around here. It wasn't Golconda. I'm pretty pretty sure it was the courtyard. So it is what it is. Uh, between this episode and the next, which the next episode actually might be the last one in this campaign, because we do need to fight the Eighties, Sky Reavers, maybe even Klamath and New Vegas and the Legion. Wow, this is some of the cleanest borders I've seen the NCR and the She ever do before. 
Wow, that's actually not too bad. But the shoe can't handle this, though. Zero percent compliance. Wow. That's not good. They must be out of... Man, they're pretty much out of manpower. 112 guys. That ain't going to stop a lot, so... Oh, what's going on here? Also, I didn't call in our allies. I, there's no point to... Oh, uh, we're basically going to be killing them off here, which is pretty darn nice, I'd say. Let's grab some rapid prototyping so we get some more output. We're going to need a few more pieces of infantry armor where we're headed, so... 30 to 35 caps, scavenge with vehicles, why not? You know, 30 more caps. And actually, by doing this, I would like to get a Royal, maybe a new Klamath. Uh, I might be able to give the Den to the NCR eventually, because that's technically part of California. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just take Klamath and give the rest to California. That might that might work out, actually. There you go. Get those guys in there. And these they're all 20 combo with, finally, so. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, we have no stability, too. Hmm. Cool. Alright, so you guys have done a pretty gosh darn good job so far. These guys are completely cut off, which is very nice, I will say so. Myself. Merchant Spies, they've lost about 5,600, 5, and... We're almost done with the Naval Department. The Crowlands will be ours. Actually, do we have the... No, we didn't have anything down here for that. Alright, cool. Very good, very good, very good. Anything else? I love winning wars. If you don't win wars, you feel kind of bad, don't you? I know I do. Manpower's looking pretty nice, too. Pretty swanky, I do say so myself. Help them out, kill them off, you know, the good stuff. Get to the Crowlands. I can't imagine them having that much more manpower left after this. Yep, they're out. They're done. Oh, and you guys are done as well. Well, done for now. Hey, okay, never mind, they're done for now. Cool. So, if we look, take a look at this, 80s do have, I think, eventually, let's see, protect people to wind. They eventually, oh, we can see what they're doing. They will try to come fight us, either try to take the Forbidden City, or take out the Desert Rangers. So basically, we got to be prepared for them. In the meantime, ooh, Klamath is with us already. Oh, we might try to take out Arroyo, but we'll see what happens. Regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow when we will take out hopefully Arroyo, beat up the 80s, and maybe even take over New Vegas. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.